But even that doesn't paint the whole picture of just how big 52 factorial is. Scott Cheapiel wrote what, in my opinion, are some of the most mind-boggling visualizations of the size of 52 factorial. Imagine setting a timer to count down 52 factorial seconds. While the timer runs, stand on the equator and wait, one billion years. After a billion years have passed, take a single step forward and then wait another billion years before taking a second step and so on. Once you have walked all the way around the earth, take a single drop of water out of the Pacific Ocean, that's five hundredths of a milliliter, and set it aside. Now continue walking at a rate of one step every billion years, removing one drop after every journey around the entire Earth, and by the time the Pacific Ocean is completely empty, put a single sheet of paper on the ground. Refill the ocean and keep going, until the stack of paper reaches the sun. At that point, how many seconds will be left on the timer? Will it be zero, a few hundred, a few billion? No, there will still be 8 times 10 to the 67 seconds left. 